Hello everyone! Today's video is about 10 things to do in Rec Room. Whether you're new to the game and wondering how people entertain themselves on here for hours and hours, and trust me, we do. Or you've been playing Rec Room for a while and need some ideas for new activities to try out. This video has something for everyone. So let's get started. Number one, get your daily and weekly challenges done. If you're a Rec Room noob, let me tell you about something brilliant that will get you hooked on the game. You go into your watch and you look for the word challenges. There are two, daily, which are small, and weekly, which take a bit more time. For the daily challenge, you simply win a random box after completing three small tasks. Cheer someone, visit a community room, or play two games of dodgeball. Simple. But for the weekly challenge, you can get some of these bad boys. These are the talk of the town on every slow Wednesday afternoon. We all simultaneously groan when a new caution skin comes out. Seriously, Rec Room, stop doing that to us. Or we get super excited when the weekly is something incredible and original, like this transparent ghost skin that came out on Halloween. Surely you don't want to miss out on these, as they come with bragging rights in the game. Oh, you got the lava sword skin? I had too much homework that week and I missed out. Oh no, that sucks. Maybe it'll one day it'll come out again, you say reassuringly to your friend, when you know the odds of that happening are about a million to one. The weekly challenge is usually completing 10 games of dodgeball, eliminating opponents in Rec Royale, or completing disc golf under par. And it rarely changes much. So the better that you get at Rec Room Original Games, the less time the weekly challenge will take you. Now for the players that have been around for a while, are you speedrunning the weekly? Time yourself. Brag with your friends about who can complete the tasks the quickest. By the way, the bonus of completing these challenges is that you get extra XP. Number two, Go through the magic door in the rec center and visit random rooms. The funnest part about Rec Room, in my opinion, is that creators are making new maps every day and they put a great deal of effort into these spectacular rooms. There's nothing more amazing than spending hours going from room to room being immersed in different worlds. Now the magic door in the rec center will take you to random rooms, but if you're like me and you prefer to have a bit more control over where you end up, try going into your watch under the play section and searching for rooms. You can either enter specific keywords like Harry Potter, Among Us, Squid Games, or you can just scroll through a list of the rooms that show up and see what catches your eye. The cool thing is that no matter what you search up, I guarantee someone has made a room about it. Some of my best memories in Rec Room are visiting the Hogwarts castle, finding a map that's just like the movie Aladdin, or exploring a quest in the middle of the Egyptian pyramids. This is the beauty of Rec Room. All the creativity, it's endless. Just make sure you always cheer and favorite the rooms you like so that you can come back and visit them again later. Number three. Have a pizza party with friends. People who have played Rec Room for more than five seconds are currently rolling their eyes at me and having flashbacks to a certain over-the-top trailer we've all seen. I love throwing pizza parties with my friends. Yay, let's go! Pizza party! Woo! This is my kind of party! But hey, I'd say food parties in Rec Room are underrated. Most of us have 18 pizzas, 4 cakes, 7 pretzels, and a few dozen glazed donuts saved. Why not take a few minutes after a quest to enjoy some food with your friends before rushing off to the next game? I think sometimes we forget the importance of taking the time to get to know our friends more. And what better way to do that than slowing down and listening to each other chew loudly, throw pizza crust all over the floor while washing it down with some coach's root beer. You might discover that someone you see often is actually from the same country as you, also enjoys playing Beat Saber, and has never beat Jumbotron despite many failed efforts. You won't know unless you ask, so bust out those food items and have a little fun Q&A. Number four, try and take some epic photos for a chance to get on the community board. One of the best things about Rec Room is the ability to take photos and share them to social media. Rec Room actually just put out a new feature where you can share photos to most platforms from the RecNet website. Approximately once a week, they update the community board with popular photos, and if your photo gets enough cheers, which are basically likes, then it might be featured on the Rec Room website as well. I personally like to share my photos to Instagram. If you haven't tried making a tower of root beer to photograph or taking an epic selfie with friends, you're missing out. Rec Room photos have endless possibilities, and it's such an awesome feeling when they get featured. So what are you waiting for? Number five, visit every Rec Room original. The Rec Room original games are a lot of fun, especially if you're just starting out and you're not sure what to try first. Whether you're on a team in Rec Royale squads or you give laser tag a go, you won't be disappointed. Well, you might be disappointed by paddle ball and disc golf. They're not all winners. However, everyone has different preferences, so try them all. If you don't like the fast-paced nature of paintball, definitely go and sink into a cozy chair in 3D charades and enjoy some laughs trying to guess what other people are drawing. For seasoned players, have you tried beating your own record at quests? If you've only ever managed a B rank, see if you can finally get that S rank drip. There's no shame in asking a friend to carry you. Promise them some pizza or pretzels at the end. I'm sure they'd be happy to help. Number six, fill out your rec room profile. You can put anything in the bio section of your profile. If you're a YouTuber, fill out your channel name. If you create rooms, let 
help people know to subscribe so they don't miss your latest creation. Your bio is the place to put important information about yourself so that other players can easily click on your profile and take a look. I personally just have my YouTube channel in there, but I've seen many creative bios. It's worth taking the time to make a little write up. As well, you can customize your name if you're new. Don't stay lazy koala 4571 if you don't have to. Create a name that's more you. Just be careful to change the right one in your profile as there are two names you can change. One you can only change once and the other you can change several times a week. The other thing you should do if you're new is take a proper profile picture. There are actually rooms with amazing backgrounds dedicated to this. Just search profile picture in the play section of your watch and you should see some pop up. If you've been around the game a while, definitely still check out these profile picture rooms. They're really cool and I bet your profile pic could use an update. Number seven, customize and save your outfits. If you're still wearing the rec room outfit you picked out on day one, or if it is still day one for you in rec room, listen, the sooner you customize your outfit, the better you will feel. I promise. If you spend a day or two playing only rec room original games, you should accumulate a few outfits or enough tokens to buy something that you really like. Since I started playing the game last year, the amount of clothing items has probably doubled. So there's something for everyone, no matter what your style is. If not, I guarantee that somebody in the game is designing it as we speak. For players that have been in rec room a while, do you still have empty outfit slots? Why not save an outfit specifically for Jumbotron or Golden Trophy? Maybe you can copy your friend's outfit to trip them out the next time you see them. The fun thing about saving your outfits is that the possibilities are endless. There's even a randomizer button if you want to see just how ridiculous things can get. Number eight, check out the featured rooms of the week. If you subscribe to the rec room channel on YouTube, they actually put out a video once a week with new featured rooms. These are always phenomenal as rec room has handpicked them to showcase. You can find these either by watching the rec room video that they put out, checking out the community board in your dorm, which isn't available for certain platforms such as the Quest 2 unfortunately, or just going into your watch under the play tab and looking for the hashtag featured. I promise you won't be disappointed. Number nine, check out Rec Room Gallery and Invention Tower for inventions and community artwork. Invention Tower is a place where every week Rec Room inventions are featured with a new theme. Now this might be anything from pizza to Jumbotron to Halloween. You can interact with all of the inventions, which makes visiting here really fun. You can try on the costumes, ride the rides. It actually gives you a lot of ideas for decorating. When you see a themed chair, a costume, or something that you absolutely must have, you can just click on it and pay a few tokens. Now it's yours. Rec Room Gallery is an art gallery that switches out once a week, showcasing creators' works in art and circuits. Both of these places are going to inspire you and make you say, wow, I can't believe someone made this. This is great. If you and your friends are bored and looking for something new to try, then you got to hit these places up. Number 10, decorate your dorm. Now, if you're new to Rec Room, this might seem like a daunting task. Decorate my dorm? Huh? I don't even know how to use my maker pen. Or you might even be saying, what is a maker pen? Depending on how new you are to the game. But listen up, when you spawn in, you could either have a dorm that looks like this in December, or one that looks like this. Which would you prefer? And no, I'm not great with the maker pen. Everything in my dorm was free or cheap from the invention store and something you can literally just place with a few touches of a button. If you wanna know more about how to customize your dorm, I did actually make a video on it. It was called How to Customize Your Dorm. Feel free to search for that video within my channel after you're done with this one. If you're a seasoned rec room player and your dorm is already decorated, good for you. But is it tripped out for the holidays? Groundhog Day? St. Patrick's Day? April Fools? Well, you better get started on that then. Now here are a few more activities that I put in the honorable mentions pile. Enter a contest. Rec Room is almost always running a contest, whether it's a video contest or a maker pen challenge. The rewards are often coveted and the contest highly competitive. If you've been around the game for a while, consider trying your hand at entering. It will give you a new appreciation for the community and your video or room might even get featured and explode in popularity. Go hunting for new friends. If you feel your friend group could use expanding, why not take a couple friends and go friend hunting? This is always easier with a few people. Start chatting up people in Rec Royale lobbies or look for someone who's new to the game who needs a mentor. I have made quite a few friends in public lobbies who just look lost and are asking, how do I play this game? When I answer them immediately with some of the basic rules, they usually want to be friends and get more tips. It feels great to do this because I'm sure we all remember being clueless on our first day in Rec Room. Join a league. If you're decent at paintball or laser tag or many other activities in Rec Room, consider joining a league. I will link to the sponsored leagues in the description box below. When I was visiting Rec Con booths, I was told you don't even have to be cracked at these games. Most are joinable at any skill level. So go ahead and join a club today and you'll probably meet some new friends to boot. RSVP to an event. Rec Room has everything from stand-up comedy to art events. Whatever interests you, there are people creating meetups specific to those interests. Cheer people and use the Friendotron machine in the rec center. Cheers are awesome to receive, so be 
sure to send one when someone is helpful or creative. There's also a new Friendatron machine in the rec center, so once a day, you can send a free gift to any one of your friends. While you're there, check out the scenery in the rec center since they're always switching it up by adding question cards, decorations that match the season, and featured inventions from Invention Tower. Streamline your friends list. If you have a few people on your list that you're always hanging out with, consider taking that time to add them to your favorites list so they're just more easily accessible. Pro tip, you can always set yourself to appear online only to favorites if you'd like. I hope this video has given you a few ideas to try out the next time you log into Rec Room. I'm going to put another helpful video up on the screen called 10 Things Not To Do In Rec Room. Be sure to check it out as it has a lot of unspoken rules and etiquette you should follow to be a great player. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification right beside it so you don't miss my next Rec Room video. Take care you guys. See you next time.